Hello, Gilda's Club. I really hope that you like pom-poms because that's what we're working with this week. I'll show you how to make your own pom-pom maker to make exciting and extravagant pom-poms for any project. They look great as reeds. They look great um, like on the end of a drawstring. Tie them on a kid's wrist. Make yourself an exciting headband. The world is your oyster and pom-poms are just fun. So let me show you how to make them now. To make beautiful pom-poms like these, all you need is a piece of cardboard, something round, anything with a round bottom really, scissors, a pen, and of course, yarn, because that's what it's made out of. Step one is to actually make our pom-pom maker. So what we'll do, place your round object onto cardboard and just do a quick trace around it. There you have one circle. You can cut that out now or you can just do the second at the same time. Some people like tracing off of the circle they just cut out. It really doesn't matter you just need to end up with two circles of a just about similar size two circles. Once you have your two circles cut out, make a slightly smaller circle inside. doesn't have to be perfectly round, but just about in the middle, make a smaller circle. Then, with your scissors, cut about an inch so that that is a broken circle now and then cut out that center so now it's about like a C you can grab your other circle this time and just roughly match them up Like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect. Just want to end up with two circles. All right. There you have it. You're going to take your yarn and you're going to find your end. So there I have, I found my end. It's from the center pole. And now I'm also going to find my other end, because every piece of yarn has two ends, right? I'm going to find both ends and put them together like that, line them up. Then I'm going to take my C's and I'm going to start wrapping. I'm going to wrap over that end here. See that? I'll do it again. I'm going to lay my end down wrap over it to secure it like that. Now I'm just going to wrap my way around. It's okay to bend this as you go, it's getting in your way.
So, once you've worked your way all the way around, you could technically stop there if you want a very light, springy kind of pom-pom. But if you want your pom-pom to be dense and thick like this kind, you're going to need to wrap a whole lot more. So now I've got a nice chubby little pom-pom on here. You can go ahead, trim it off at about the same length as the sides. Then we're going to carefully separate those two C's, you see get between that cardboard there, and snip our way around the middle or the side. Now I don't I want you to very carefully kind of hold things in place while you do this. If your scissors are really dull, this will be a hard part. You might have to kind of go through a layer at a time. As you can see, I'm starting to get all pom pommy over here. My sides look nice and fluffy. Almost around. Okay. So just keep that all together on here for now. Don't mess with it too much. Cut yourself about a 10 inch double length of yarn. And just slide in between those two layers. You see what I'm doing? I'm getting in between those two layers of cardboard, coming around. I'm going to tie just a normal square knot or granny knot that's between these two layers here. Hold on to that real tight because it's going to want to come loose, but I'm not going to let it. Arr. This is why I use two pieces of string. I pull very tight and I have popped one of these before. Okay, so we're all tied together. You can safely remove your form now. Just pull it right off. And if you're like me, your initial Pom-pom's going to come out a little eggy shaped, but we can fix that. Now I've laid out a little bit of garbage plastic that I don't need an need for anything to just kind of catch my scraps because this will be fibery. If you, uh, if you breathe mostly through your mouth, you may want to wear a mask at this time because if you breathe in these acrylic fibers, it is not good for you and it does not feel nice. So you can see I'm just starting to cut now. I'm trying to make my pom-pom as round as possible. So I just dug right into that side there. That was my first pass. See, I tried to make the sides just about even, nice and round. Nice and rounded on the sides. Now I'm going to turn this into a bit of a dome. You should be somewhat systematic about this, at least at this point. If you just start hacking away at it, it's very easy to lose track of what your goal is, which is a nice round pom-pom most of the time. Carefully trimming, shaking off the excess. I'm going to start on this bottom part here now, trying to round it up a bit. Well, that's getting much better. Now, at this point in your process, I'm going to remind you of a couple
concept called Wabi Sabi. The concept that imperfections can be beautiful because once you get started on these pom-poms you may find the urge within yourself to continue trimming until you have trimmed off an incredible amount and I don't want you to trim off more than you need to and I don't want you to become so caught up in perfection that you miss out on the fun of this process remember that it's good to get a nice round one, but it's going to be cute whether it's perfect or not. And you will find something to trim every time you look at it. So at some point you just gotta tell yourself, stop. Like, even as I tell you that, I'm having trouble telling myself to stop. But you have to at some point. One more trim. Well, I think that'll do for now. That's quite happy. Nice round little pom-pom. Real fluffy. So now that you know how to make your basic pom-pom, I can show you a couple of ways to make really interesting varieties of these pom-poms. If you would like a kind of multicolor pom-pom, one way to get that effect is to use a variegated yarn. This has multiple colors within it, and it will give you a really cool effect when you are wrapping. Another way to do it is to just take multiple colors of yarn in your hand while you're wrapping. So take one strand of orange, and one strand of yellow. You can even take three strands if you'd like. Maybe a strand of pink. Hold those all together at the same time and begin your wrapping like you did before. Just like that. And you'll have all these colors included in equal portions. Once you have your pom-pom, you can decide whether or not you'd like to keep these long strings for tying like that i kept my strings to tie them onto this headband if you'd like to trim them off so this can be used as a cat toy or something fun for your kids to bat around the house that won't break things as easily it's really up to you this is just a technique for making the pom-pom the creativity is in how you use it so have fun with it and try all sorts of experimental ways. I hope you enjoyed your pom-pom extravaganza, and I hope that you make millions of them and share them with all your friends. Use up all those little scraps and just enjoy the process because it can be a very calming and rewarding thing to just carefully trim those pom-poms until they're nice and round. So see you next week. Stay healthy, stay safe, and have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. See ya.